Ultimately, we've been surprised in a good way that the economy has been very resilient, even though we've raised interest rates a lot. So if we continue to see strong job growth, if we continue to see strong consumer spending and strong GDP growth, then that raises a question in my mind, well, why would we cut rates? Maybe the dynamics that we have right now are actually sustainable. Uh, but you know, there's a lot, there's a, there are a lot of ifs underlying that question and that uh, hypothesis or that scenario that I just articulated. So we need to see what ultimately happens with both the labor market and with inflation. Our dual mandate ultimately is what drives our rate path. Here's another question. Are rate hikes off the table? No, they're certainly not off the table. I don't know of anybody who's taken them officially off the table. Uh, I don't think they're very likely, even me. I think I'm on the more hawkish uh, side of the committee, even for me. I don't think it's likely. I think if we continue to be surprised that inflation is more persistent, the first thing I think we would do is just hold rates here for an extended period of time to see if that ultimately does the trick. But ultimately, if we get convinced that that's not enough to bring inflation back down to our target in a reasonable period of time, then I think we would consider raising interest rates uh, from here. So I wouldn't say they're off the table, but they're also not a likely scenario given what we know right now.